Amnesty International has raised concern over oil company Shell's relationship with the Nigerian government during the 1990s. That period saw a brutal crackdown on anti-pollution protesters in the country. At Amnesty International, we've been through a vast cache of internal Shell records from this period, and we believe that they demonstrate a troubling relationship between the company and the Nigerian government. People were subjected to constant harassment, constant intimidation, and constant violations of basic human rights. Here's the region where everything happened. Shell wanted to set up a new pipeline there, and according to Amnesty International, it was aware this might anger locals. Troops deployed by the Nigerian army to guarantee the safety of Shell's staff opened fire against protesters, killing several people. Documents from that time suggest the company was aware of the violence. History's proven that if military personnel are initially used as a deterrent only, it only requires one shot to be fired in their direction or one act of violence for them to respond with the intention to kill. Shell's image in the world would suffer. The intent of this memo is to recommend that the entire team be paid some form of honorarium as a show of gratitude and motivation for a sustained favourable disposition towards Shell in future assignments. When we contacted Shell for comment on the Amnesty International report, it rejected the claims, stressing that it had never colluded with the Nigerian authorities to crack down on the protesters. Amnesty International is calling for court action against Shell over its behaviour in the past. Actually, several years ago, Shell already paid over $15 million to settle a legal case over alleged involvement in the killing of Nigerian activists. In that case, the company rejected all the accusations, saying it had made the payment in recognition of the tragic story. We spoke to Melik Osden, director of the Europe Third World Centre, an organisation that presented evidence that the e at the UN on violations by Shell in Nigeria. The Shell Corporation was condemned in 2002 by the African Commission of Human Rights, but only indirectly because there were no means of taking the corporation to court. It was the Nigerian government which was charged with complicity because it helped the company violate human rights and destroy the environment, but there was no possibility of the company to be charged. A general strategy of transnational corporations in such cases is to avoid condemnation and avoid court cases. So in any international process, the corporation prefers to settle the case on an out-of-court basis to avoid condemnation. Every time it was clear that a case would be considered in the US or in France, companies have chosen to pay millions of dollars instead of taking responsibility for their actions.